DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy to manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. live it's time it's time to talk music with music and mixing with dj michael joseph <gasps> i'm not dj michael joseph no okay. neither am i that's not us so for tonight we're going to find someone in the crowd who, no yeah who would like to be michael joseph <laughs> tonight to with be... real michael joseph please, please stand, stand up. up please stand up okay uh so Funny. i have got facebook up and youtube up and we're going to be um not doing a ton of questions and such tonight. MJ, kind of tell us what you're going to run us run through for us tonight. I'm just going to stand here and insult people all night. So that's going to be the the idea. No questions answered, just insults thrown your way. So please put a topic in which you'd like to be insulted with us to use that as the you know kind of impetus of the insult, and we'll do the best we can to make sure we get everybody done. That is funny. No, tonight there I'm I'm hoping that I don't make your brain hurt with the amount of knowledge I'm throwing at you tonight. This is a, a show that I've been wanting to do for quite a while, and it's simply we're going to talk about all the right click menus within Virtual DJ Eight, and there's endless amounts of things that you can do with just the right click and nothing else. That's all we're going to talk about tonight. We're not going to do a lot of how tos, but we're going to do a, a what is. So this isn't a how-to show because, trust me, I will come back and do shows on the things that we're going to talk about, but I'm just kind of pointing them that they're there tonight. That's kind of what I'm doing is showing, hey, did you know this was here? Did you know this was there? So, And some of the stuff that I'll be showing you, I wish I didn't have to because I don't want you to know about it. <laughs> <laughs> but other stuff I think is really cool. With great power comes great responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so shall we begin? I think we should. Okay, so let me grab the screen share here and go here and go here. All right, are we seeing everything? There we go, yes. All right, nice. so tonight we will be working off of the uh, virtual DJ stock skin, which I don't like, <laughs> but we're going to do it. Um, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start in the main browser area of right clicks. And there's just an endless amount of things that we're going to do with the right click. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to pick a song and we're going to right click on the song. And you see you get a drop down bunch of menus. Uh, that's your first right click. And within that menu gives you a load on deck one or deck two. So, John, is, this is showing everything, yes, right? Yes, it is. Yep. Pop yep. Up menus. Okay. Um, and that's just simply taking that song right there and I can load it on deck two. Boom, it's loaded. That's the simplest of that. All right, so we get down into Tag Editor, which is one I use a lot. So are we seeing this here? Yep, yep, yep. I'll tell I want to make what, sure that the, the extra pop-ups pop yep, up. Yep, if, if something doesn't, I'll, uh, I'll let yeah, you know. Yes, sometimes uh, Zoom doesn't grab the stuff. And this is where you would edit your tags. You can edit everything in here from play count, the year, BPM, what what key it's in, the, the type of music it is. You can color the track so it's a color. Um, album remix, you can change the album cover here and to pick something else if you want. Um, all of that can be done in there and then hit the little write the tag and it saves it. And you can even stay in here. So let's say I wanted to do a bunch of them. I would just hit the next one and go to the next song and then the next song and then the next song and then the next song and just keep going with that. Sure. And that, that's all within the, the, uh, the right click and tag editor. All right. So next one after tag editor is BPM editor. And this one gets kind of crazy because there's a lot you can do here. You can set the BPM, you can fix the BPM, and you can adjust the BPM. So I've seen and, it. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to go through the buttons down below there? I see that uh, divided later. by two. And this times. isn't a how-to. Uh -huh. Remember? I'm just showing well, you that, that that's what this is. Okay. Well, I was just going to say, if, if not how to use those buttons, but what they just telling us what they did. We'll, we'll, we'll do that on the tutorial. Okay. We're just covering what stuff is tonight. And you can also not only set the BPMs here, but you would also set the variable BPM. So if you have a song from the 70s that the BPM isn't steady, you can correct it in here. And I will show how to do that later on too. Mm -hmm. But that's, again, one of the menus in there. And you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with the beat editing, set it, half it, double it. But we'll get into that another day. So the BPM editor is in there. 
Uh, down below the BPM editor is the POI editor, which stands for point of interest. And you actually can do a lot with this. You can adjust, move, set all your hot cues. You can rename them here. You can um, do things like save loops. You can put actions in here, which we'll get to that on another day, that to where if I set an action in there, let's say I want it at this point in the song right here, if I wanted it to backspin and stop, I can put an action in there. So every time I play it, it gets to that point, it does this action or go into loop mode or wow. whatever I wanted it to do. You can put all of these in here in the point of interest editor and just literally endless amounts of stuff you can you want to do here. You can do um, create anchor points, um, colorize them, uh, make them visible or invisible, um, all kinds of stuff like that. You can create, like I said, just pretty much anything here. Um, beat grid anchors, auto, auto mix points. This is where you would go and set all your auto mix points. So if you specifically wanted this song to, to auto mix at the same point all the time, you can set that in here. Just endless amounts of stuff within this simple right-click menu on the points of interest editor. And we're going to show later where else you can get to the points of interest editor. You don't only have to do it from right-click on the song. You can do it from other areas, and we're going to get to that too. But you can do load point in there also, which I thought was kind of cool. So that the, let's say you don't want the song to load here. You want it to load way over in the song, like maybe here. You can do that too. So from now on, it loads wherever you set it. So that's all within that. Next one is video editor, uh, which I have used quite a bit. And the video editor does a couple of things to where you can edit the actual video in the song. You can overlay another video if you choose not to have that video there. And that includes short looping videos. Um, you know, it can be just a simple looping video that goes through the whole thing. Um, I think it's in here. I'm not sure. Um, uh, is this the one that I did right here, I think? Nope. Oh, that's not it. I don't think that's it. Oh, because I was on the wrong side. <laughs> that's why. Hold on here. We're going to go over here and see if it comes up. Video over. That's not the right one, so I don't think it's in here. Nope. So I did a video with the video using just the video editor, nothing else. Uh -huh. And what I did is I on another track, I put a looping video over top of it. So the looping video went throughout the whole thing. So every time I load it, it goes to that looping video. And you can do it on MP3s, or if it's a video, you can overlay the video. Hmm. You can overlay an image to be up there every single time if you want. So every time you load a song, it's that image. You can overlay text, so every time you load it, it's there. And finally, you can actually do lyrics. So if I had, I don't think it's going to find the lyrics on this, but I'm going to let it do a search. Um, yeah, it did not find the lyrics on that. Um, see if it maybe finds it on this video editor and whoops there we go i was wondering what it was doing and see if it'll find nope didn't find the lyrics sometimes it'll find the lyrics and it'll over, overlay the lyrics like it's a music uh lyric video hmm. but uh That'd be cool. that's all the different things done within the video editor and that's all just a right click and then video editor and it lets you adjust and save and you can do everything you want you can cut sections out whatever you want to there um Next one down is the track cleaner, which I use a lot. And this lets you edit the song, like cut sections out, remove section, like, I'm sorry, sensor section. Sensor section would just reverse it. Yep. Um, you can do remove. Remove actually takes it out. So, like, if I remove this section to this section, it would jump. And then stretch, I could make this part loop over and over as many times as I want, six times, eight times, whatever. And then that's saved and it's a playable thing. That's the track cleaner. And like I said, another day, I think I covered this way back. I'm not sure. But uh, we'll cover on how to do these things in the future. But just showing you where these are at, that if you want to play around with them, they're there. Um, next one down is something that I think everybody should do is analyze for BPM. You should be doing that on every single song you own. And you can do a single song. All you do is right click and then analyze BPM. And you can see it goes across there. Or if I want to do the whole batch, I just highlight the whole batch. Um, file operate um, batch, analyze for BPM. And it's going to go through every one of them and check every one of them. And you can also do that by folder, which we'll get into that a little bit. If I wanted to do the whole folder over here, I can batch the whole folder. Sure. And we'll get this area here in a bit. Um, so that's pretty much what the, uh, the BPM editor is. Um, the uh, file operation gives you another pop out in the menus, open in Explorer. And then that means that it would open up an Explorer window showing you exactly where that file is. 
Um, rename uh, that file if you want to rename it. You can delete the file, and that would that would literally delete it from your computer. So if you have a version, you're like, I don't want this in my computer. Instead of, instead of having to hunt for it, what file it's in, and then deleting it there, if you delete it here, it's out of your computer permanently. Huh, neat. And the, the move to is exactly what it sounds like. You can move it from one folder to another. And by using this, instead of drag, like going into the, like the, the file system, the, you know, whether it be Windows Explorer or whatever, instead of going there and moving the file, if you move it this way, then if you have it in any playlists, it keeps track of it. But if you go to the, just the fo folder and move it in a folder and you had it on a playlist, it, you'll have to go refine where that song is in the playlist. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And copy to is the exact same thing as it sounds. You can make a copy of it and put it in another folder. Um, hold on here. My, my right monitor is kind of going buggy on me here. Um, where are we at here? All right. So that's all with file operation. Um, pop the next one down is remove from search database, meaning that song, if I don't want to delete it, but I just don't want to find it anymore, I can just remove from search database. And if you want to add it back again, then you recurse, and I'll show you recursing here in a little bit. And it has nothing to do with swearing, <laughs> bad, saying bad words like Megaseg. Um, over and over and over again. All right, so if I have a song up here, and I'm just going to turn this all the way down because we don't need to hear it, and I let it play and play and play, and it's going to mark it as uh, played. It'll give it a little red red thing in the corner when it gets to, I think I have it 30 seconds on this for it until it marks played. Mm -hmm. And if I'm playing it there, um, which one don't even, I unloaded that one. Um, you can uh, mark as played or unplayed. So if I wanted to say I don't want to play this song ever again or I want to, I want to mark that I have played it tonight, I can right-click mark as played, and you see it leaves a little mark there saying it was played. Right. And if I played it once in the night and do want to play it again, I right-click mark as unplayed, and it marks it unplayed. And that can be done for an entire folder too. So if I want to go mark as played, all of those are played, right-click mark as unplayed. So that gets you in there to mark and unmark stuff being played or not played. Um, next one is kind of neat. Uh, it it's, lets you pick a song, which I want to pick one here that is pretty plain. All right, this is this is a gorilla song that's out this year. Um, so it's not going to be all that. Let's do Demi Lovato. Okay. And if you do right click, search similar songs, and it's going to search your database and tell you what songs you have that are similar to that. Um, which I don't think my database has been recursed here. So we'll do that. It's searching through the files. This, this is the backup thingy that I have over there. So it isn't anything. So let's see, um, search similar songs. It's telling me there's no similar songs. Either that or it's taking a while to search. So what, what, do, you, what do you think it's looking for that, that makes it a similar song? There you go. Fake love. The different. Um, I'm really not sure how it goes. I didn't read all into that. Okay. I can't if that's something. Yeah, no, I was just kind of curious if you happen to know off yeah, the top. It's, it's, it, it lets you, and it does, like, when I do it on my actual DJ computer that's been running and it's faster than this, um, it searches it really fast. So it is going to find stuff really fast. And then the final one in that right click is search uh, with Genius DJ. And D Genius DJ is virtuals thing that lets you it, it's basically an algorithm within the program that lets you search through songs that other people have played because whether you know it or not using virtual if you allow it you can click the button in the in the in the uh, uh the main you know settings menu that if you do not want it to upload your playlist it won't but if you do, like I leave mine uploaded and sometimes I share them on the virtual site because the virtual site, if you've not been there, there's a whole community of, of, of live videos and mixes and, and shows and radio and, and actual stations done from virtual and you can see playlists. So what it does is whether you share it public or not, it's still uploading the playlist. So it then takes the Genius DJ and it looks at, let's say I pick um, uh, Michael Jackson. Um, uh, let me find one here. Don't stop till you get enough. And what it's going to do, it's going to look at what every other DJ has played and that, that, that virtual event uploaded and then name, take the algorithm and figure out what were the most popular tracks played after that track. And sometimes you have to drag them in here for that because you can do them from over here too. Um, that was really odd that that did it that way. 
that's odd that it did it that way. Let's try it. Let's try it from this side of the list over here again. I'm not used to this. Let's drive that in there. See if that does it. That does not do it. I really don't know what that's doing then. Because I always do it from there, and it's we can do it from the playlist too. I don't think I have even playlists in here. But that's what it does. It gives you a a, a, a genius DJ. Um, maybe we'll do this. Let me drag some in here. And then do, see if that, let's do that way. Hmm. It's searching right there. That's why. No, it's scanning the other one. That's really odd that it's doing it on this computer. It's not doing that. But what it would do is it would populate with a whole bunch of songs. Um, I don't have playlists in here, so I can't, I can't do anything with a playlist. And I know it does it on the playlist. Um, this is what I get for not using my regular computer. It all worked there. But anyways, that's what it does. It will populate from a list, an algorithm based on the feedback of hundreds of thousands of DJs all around the world that use uh, virtual DJ. And you do have to have an internet connection to make that work. But what it would do is populate, let's say after Michael Jackson's Don't Stop To You Get Enough, majority of DJs played, you know, Brick House. Let's just say that. Then that would populate that in that list as Brick House as being a song that a lot of DJs play after. And that's all that is. It's kind of, you know, telling you that's what most people play so that's everything in that area there and again um i'm really surprised it's not i don't know why it's not doing working i i just it has worked before yeah i've um, used it myself actually a couple of times yeah. and i don't know if my playlists are in here um no i don't think the play again because i i don't use this so there's playlist i don't know what it's going to See if it'll do it from this. Yeah, I don't know how what, what that is. Like I said, it's always done it. There's also a shortcut over here. Um, and see, I, I'm really mad right now because I did all of this in the other computer, mm -hmm. all my preparing, and uh, none of it's there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so we're going to have to maybe even skip some sections. So, anyways, we're going to look at the left menu. I apologize. That's I really should have just popped that other one in there. Um, when we did the recurse earlier, what this does is you take your main folder. Um, and, again, this is my backup of stuff. And what I'm going to do is this is the main folder. And if I recurse, it's going to then search every folder under that folder. And what it does is, like, when you do a search within virtual for a song, it doesn't search the physical files. So it does not go into your C drive, blah, 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 and search for that song. What it does is when you recurse, it creates a text file, an XML text file of where every song is. Because you can search through a text file fashion, you can search through files. And when you recurse, it then looks at all the folders underneath of that, adds them to the database so that when you do go up here and do a search, you are able to find the songs quicker. Okay, so that's all recurses, and I tell people recurse often. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and again, I don't know if we're going to be able to do this because there are, are, are folders missing here. Um, I really don't know where this stuff is at now because there's, there's just folders missing here. Um, because there, there's... there's uh, there's a there's an ask the dj folder there there's a genius dj folder that's supposed to be there and i don't know why they're not there um you are logged in aren't you but it's only going to do it from the computer so if i if i were to switch over to the other computer grab it i would have those i can't believe they're not in here so like half of the stuff i'm going to tell you about in the left area it's not there mm. which that kind of ticks me off um but you can do the same thing over here that if you want to do, let's go back into that one. We'll just jump around here a bit and the DJ music. And let's say I wanted to batch uh, um, search the entire file. I can do that in batch for the entire folder, that physical, because that's a physical folder there. Sure. And um, I can do the search with Genius DJ from there also, which again, it brings nothing up. Um, 
file operation again lets you also rename, move, uh, create a subfolder. So if I wanted to, instead of go, again, instead of going out of virtual and going into the uh, your folder system, you can do all of that changing, updating, and stuff from here. Um, we have uh, you can add to search database, you can remove from search database, you can reload tags within a folder system too, so that if you want to. Um, if, if, if your if your tags are not correct and you want to reload them it, so that so that the database then has the ability to search so let's say you tag something you know hip hop 94 whatever the reload tags does gets that back to where it's searchable it's all about searchable everything on that left menu is is searchable stuff um uh because the the Get, get to better describe the tag thing that virtual only reads it from the first time it sees it. Okay. So if you've changed it from the first time it sees it, it you have to do that reload tags before it then sees it. So if you lay, lo, loaded a song in there and you labeled it after it's, after it's been loaded and searched, you, you change the label urban hip hop or whatever you want to label it. Um, it will not find it unless you do the reload tags. It okay. then reloads it because it's going to throw the, the tags just like when we did the search of the full database and it creates a, a text file, a, a data text file. It's going to do the exact same thing for this. So it's searchable. Um, Wesley, and download covers is the final thing that if you wanted to go through that entire folder and add covers to every single song within that folder, you do that. And it's going to go out because remember when we were searching over here on the tag editor, I can go up here and click on this and it's going to go out on the internet if it was if it if I was logged in. Maybe that's why I'm not logged in. I don't know. When well, Wesley said something about that there you can hide those folders in the settings area. Yeah. Maybe. You can. Let me see if they're they're there. I want to see first if I'm even logged in. I am logged in and and we want to go to options and then we want to go to um what is that? What is that area called? Ask the DJ with FP enough to get you there. Because they should all be showing the Ask the DJ thing. That's the another one I'm going to have to explain yeah, too. The genius is that because um, the Ask the DJ is on. It's just I can't see it there. I don't know why. I must have it hidden on this. I, I really do not understand mm -hmm. why this stuff is not there. Mm -hmm. Um, that kind of worries me a little bit in a way. Because none, not all that stuff that I was. I'm so mad that it's not there. This this show really kind of has tanked there because it's not there. Um, we're just gonna keep moving. You can hide and, and unhide subfolders and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if they're there. There's there it is. I'm just looking in the wrong area, John. That's all I'm doing. Hey MJ, um, there under that tab that online music, there's stuff under there. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. So that's something I should have got. I'm glad to. I could help you. Here's where you can do the right click on 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 a thing, and if this is a playlist and it's showing that this song is missing, I can relocate missing file if I want. So it's going to show you up right here, um, shape of you. So I can do a search for shape of you, and it's going to search, and that's the one. And if it was the one I was looking for, because you can still see the the name that we were searching yep, yep, for, yep. official video. And if it is, then you go boop. And then now it's showing that it's found. So that's how, again, right click from playlists. So there's no you way know. to automatically do it. It's an individual one, to that one at a time. Unfortunately, it is an individual one, at least that I, I've not read about. Sure. Um, because yeah, that's, I, I know I've read people talking about that. It, why isn't it there? Why isn't it there? Um, but I don't know. It's, it doesn't do that. So back to that again. All right. So the Genius DJ. Um, I think if we go here and drag it into Genius DJ, again, I don't do this very often. Nope. I don't know why Genius DJ isn't working. But what it's going to do is going to give you things there. Sorry. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you can hide You can hide and, 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 and monitor certain folders. It's going to show you with the right click. Um, set it up to, to, to react a certain way. Again, you hide and unhide things under there. Uh, uh, with all of that, your history, for those of you who don't know, your history is everything you've played, you know, when you've played it, all that, it's there. Playlists. Um, Ask the DJ is something you set up to where if someone can, you set up your local thing, uh, ask the DJ, ask dot, the dot, DJ forward slash, whatever you want, like DJ Michael Joseph. And then if I'm DJing at John's house and someone was near John's house, they pull out their phone, the geo tracking on the phone, 
uh, send them to ask the ask dot the dot DJ. When they do that, it will then show me at John's house and you can log in and then they can ask requests and the request will populate into this folder right here. So if I leave this open and John goes to that site on his phone, request something, it'll populate in here. I can then drag and drop and put it up there. Um, uh, you can also, some of these over here are setting your favorite folders, which I didn't do. Um, filter folders. Um, you can turn on and off certain things to be viewed. Uh, uh, whether you want to, when you do a search, if you want to see the MP3s, if you want to see the videos only or the karaoke. So karaoke is turned off. So if I did a search, no karaoke tracks would turn, turn on. But if I turn karaoke off and turn those two off, the only ones that would show up would be karaoke. So that's there. Um, I think part of the reason why I can't find this is maybe I'm used to that other skin. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> that, that other skin throws me off so bad. Um, uh, we then go over to the right area over here. Um, we're going to look at different things over here. And also it gives you the same menu for your playlists. But if you start at the bottom here and you give your side list, and the side list is nothing more than a copy of this, depending on where you want to put it, right there. And in each side area, you can give it parameters of what you want it to do. Next one down is your samples, which give you your different, you know, your quick samples and stuff you want there. This is your auto mix, which many of you, you've done that. And you can also do the exact same thing. If it's in your auto list, you can edit all that. Um, you've got a little thing up here that is your auto mix editor, which is not a, not a, not a right click, but it's an anything click. Mm -hmm. um, and it gets you, you type how you want it to, to fade, um, all the different things like that. The shuffle once, um, let me get this right on the shuffle once. Um, it's two different ways here. Um, shuffle once is it just rearranges the playlist in the in let's say you put it in order one through ten. Yep. Shuffle once rearranges the playlist one time completely. Uh, shuffle will leave the playlist in in the order that it is, but then start doing random plays. It'll pick them randomly. So shuffle, shuffle is just pick them randomly, but not adjust the order. Shuffle once adjusts the order. Okay. Um, this also, again, lets you remove songs you've already played and stuff or remove duplicates. So if I have two over there, it'll remove the duplicate. And then you save your playlist and stuff like that from there. You can also add folders and different things like that. Um, next takes us up to the top, the control area. Um, there's a lot up here too. You can uh, load, like say this, tracks right there is loaded if i want to remove it from that player i right click on the the stop button and hold it there for a couple seconds and it takes it off of there oh it unloads it's your stop button mm -hmm. so i load that uh hey i really don't want that and for some i mean you can load another song it'll it'll make it go away but if you right click on the stop button it takes it off hmm. um another thing that i i noticed and i really haven't I'm guessing you can MIDI map this if you can do it with a right click, but um, you know, you have your tone controls here, you know, your gains and different things like that and your lows and your highs. Um, if you want to kill that right click, it's an instant kill instant backup on the right click. So if I was playing that and I wanted to kill that, How you, if you wanted to use the right click. Sure. So I thought that was kind of neat. That was a new one there. Yeah. Um, you can choose your effects over here um, with these, but if you go over to the cog, the cog then takes you down to editing them. So in each one there, the backspin, um, your cog then takes you down to edit it there. Um, you can adjust the effects, different things like that. This area here is custom buttons. So you can, you can right click on the custom buttons and make them anything. And I literally mean anything like right now, this is set up as an auto mix and auto mix. So right now, if I was doing an auto mix, um, so it should let me do that here. All right. So you see how it's there. I would have to wait till the end or go down here and right click. And um, where's it at there? Uh, mix now. So again, down in the lower area, right click. Mix now would make that, see how that changed? Yep. Or you can program this button to do it. Turn that on and off. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's a dead point in the beginning of the song. So this one here turns the auto mix on and off. I programmed it that way to show you guys. And then this one here does the mix. Which is still loading. You can see it has to go all the way in before to do that properly. There, because I let them both load all the way. So those, again, you would right-click on these to set them up, and you can do multiple things in there. So not only just auto mix, but volume. Um, you can bring up different windows. You can set cues, equalizers. You can set up karaoke backgrounds, loops, and all of that can be done from here. So you could double layer one. So if I had the auto mix there, all right, so that's the auto mix on or off, okay? I can then, let me do this here. If I right again, you're right clicking, add a button. I can do audio volumes, crossfader, um, booth volume, okay? So now that not only is one, but right click, you can choose auto mix, have it be the auto mix or the booth volume. So I'm right clicking and that button is now turns on and off the auto mix. Right click, highlight that, that button is now the booth volume. All on the right clicks. Um, that's pretty much everything that does with right clicks. And again, like I said, we're going to go into how to's later on. And I apologize that some of the right menus I didn't have set up right. Uh, I, again, the, the, it, it's just, that's hundred percent my fault for not, not having that right. Um, so I guess we can take some, uh, questions now. Well, MJ, let's go. Is there anything at the top, the very, very top bar where you got that? Yeah, there's stuff, but you can't, it's not right click. There is some neat stuff like the clock here. I always thought the clock was neat because let's say I'm, I know I have a minute that I need to do something. So whether the song's playing and I go, Hey, in a minute, I need to do something. If I click on the clock, um, it's going to tell me how much time I've been playing. It's, that's the world clock and the time clock. Um, there are other things like you can do, like I said, besides going down into the points of interest and edit, you can actually right click on the, the wave file and it gets you the points of interest editor. Um, stuff like that's there, you know, mm -hmm. you can do the BPM editor from the BPM. So if I'm up here in the BPM and right click, it then gets me the BPM editor. So like I said, not only down here, but you can do different things up here. Um, your tag editor can be, uh, gotten from up there, different things like that. Um, and that's pretty much all of it. You know, that there, there are other things in there with that, you know, what you want, but it's still, It's still there. I mean, like I said, there's a lot of right clicks and different things. Um, again, I, I I hope this made sense. There's just a lot of things within this. So when people, most of the people buy virtual, they just load it and start playing. Yeah. But there's so many little things like if you like the people who use the auto mix. Again, that's the part that I didn't want to teach everybody. So if you if you knew that you know you could do auto mix and then create the song by going into point of interest editor and saying, I want this song to mix every time right here. You could set it up to mix every time so that you load it and it automatically mixes at that point. So if you wanted to set time, seriously sit down and create the mix points, you could create an actual mix that is mixed properly at the right times without ever mixing. Welcome to Megaseg. But this is a little bit better because, like I said, you're able to then really dig hard into it and, and set stuff up like that. So I know there was a lot there. I apologize if I rambled. Um, so if you guys have any questions, uh, I will take them now if I can. I probably should have just left that up. Um, <coughs> you could have because I had a question and now I forgot what it was and I feel bad. Re-ask the question if you want. You want me to go back to sharing so if they ask, it's there? Yeah, I don't remember what what the question was. Not not what someone else was uh, asking about. So if you have a question, it's there. Um, again, a lot of this stuff is crazy over here. What what all you can do with it? You can like, there's oh, the oh, hide oh. And, and show. I remember now. Okay, go ahead. Oh, you, this is the compatible songs. That if I'm if I do that right. Um, I got to remember how to do that. That ticks me off that I can't make that do that. Anyways, go ahead. What's your question? Um, when you were in the uh, that uh, point of interest editor, I believe yes. it was, and you said talked about the the end cue point, the where you, to make the segue at that particular point. How does that show up 
on does it show up on the track as a cue point as it's flowing along at the top you know this is where you would do it there you would have it invisible marker only a you can both make it an endpoint and a physical touchable cue point so it can be an endpoint and a cue point if you set it up that way um or just visit marker only means that it would put a marker so if i want to put one right let me move this over here um let me see where i'm at on that um Let's say I wanted to put one right there. I can zoom in. You do that with the mouse. You scroll in with the, the mouse wheel. And I want to add a new thing right there. And I want it to be a cue point. Um, uh, hot cue. We want it to be a remix point. Um, action. No, we're going to make that an auto mix point. Um, marker only. So then... If I go back here to the song, which that should be somewhere. Oh, I didn't load it. That's why. <laughs> okay, so it's there. And if I load that, then you're going to see right there, it's marker only. Sure. Change the form up there to horizontals, the horizontals. And then that becomes, a, a, as you see, there's no cue point lit up, but it is right there. And I can even take that now and go back in there and go back into the POI if I didn't like that. And now that um, Q1 is my auto mix point. I, I want to name it. I can name it. Um, so now, as you see, it says auto mix point. And then you can do different things like that. Full mix point, full start point. So those can be full or partial or fade. As you can see there, I can make that a fade exit point. A, a, a cut start point, a cut end point. So it, you can pick how you want it to, to do it. So if I wanted it to end right there, I could say exit cut or exit fade out, you know, a full exit, you know, whatever you wanted to do there. But those are all done within there. And if you don't like it, you just highlight it and hit the delete button. Boop. And it's gone. I booped. You did. <laughs> Jenny's not even here. Yes, she was with us actually on... Uh... In uh, Facebook for a bit. I don't know if she's still there or not, but um, there is already plugins. I see a question in the chat about DMX. There's yeah. already plugins that you can download from Virtual to tie in. So, like your my Q buttons, um, I can make them DMX control buttons. So it's already in there. You just get that from the Virtual DJ site plugin. There's one for Freestyler and there's one for another software. I don't remember what it is. Yeah. Um, again, it's not necessarily for the you, you can the way the plugin works because these hot cues um, can be anything. Okay, so th they call them uh, pads now, not hot cues. So you can make a pad because I have one of my pads on mine. Control video. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Transitions. So all you're doing then is creating pads that map to an action within like Freestyler. So any button that is MIDI mappable on your controller can be MIDI mapped as an action for lighting controls. Does that make sense? Because mm -hmm. that's the way pads work. I literally yeah. can make these pads do anything I want them to. And on mine, uh, they do everything from cue points, loop rolls, audio effects, video effects, samples, um, uh, uh, key... Jumps, everything. All that stuff. Now, how, the, how you set the DMX stuff up, I don't know. I've talked to my friend Michael Chilson, who really knows DMX very well. And he's like, oh, that's easy. You mm -hmm. can set that up with this plugin. I can help you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah no. I'm going to need it. <laughs> yeah, it makes my head hurt thinking about yeah, it. The DMX is one of my weakest points in the whole DJ world just because I've never jumped into it. That's all. I probably could learn it, but I've just never, ever jumped into mm -hmm. it. And you do need uh, some sort of uh, attachment, um, USB to, you know, your DMX, whatever, to feed that. Again, can be done, not a problem, <laughs> but I'm not the person to ask. The uh, edits and such that you were showing on doing a song, now that stays with that song on this what computer. What it's going to do, here's the weird thing. I'm going to do that right here, and I'm going to go... Um, uh, a track cleaner, okay? Mm -hmm. um, is it going to bring it up? 
I don't see anything. There oh, there it is. it is. Okay, it was going slow. So let's say I wanted to edit this part right here. All right, so I'm going to play that and stop, and then, and then you can grab your play point, and right there I want to do sensor. And what that does is then that will reverse that section there. And if I wanted to move up further and cut this out right here, I can go remove, and it will jump. If it, as it's playing, you'll see it'll jump from there to there. See it? Boop, and jumps mm -hmm. over there. And then if I'm satisfied with that, and the same with the loop, I can put a stretch thing right there and say repeat uh, two times. So if I do that, you're going to see it's going to go to the end, repeat, goes through once, twice, and then it continues on. Sure. And let's say I'm happy with that, and I hit save. It's going to give me an option to kind of rename it. So I'm going to rename it the No Diggity uh, Live DJ NTV Edit. And I hit save. And then what it does is it creates another name. So this is not an MP3 or an MP4 video. It is a virtual DJ file. Okay. If you were to look at it, it's, it, it's dot VDJ, blah, 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 blah. Um, so it's only playable within virtual. So you can't move it to other things. But if I were to, to drag it up there and play it. Um, it's going down, face of black shit. The homies got out. I put it down, never slouch. As long as my... Let me, let me find the mixer master, sorry. It's going down, face of black streak. The homies got out. I put it down, never slouch. As long as my credit can vouch. Somewhere in here it should there was the there was the there was the, there was the uh jump the never slouch. As long as my credit can vouch, a dog couldn't catch me. And then the repeat. Yeah. Because you saw all three there. It skipped the point. It yep. did the reverse in there. And if you don't like it, you want to get rid of it, you just go um, delete. And it goes bye bye. Um, somebody asked what happened to Spotify on Virtual DJ 8. Here's the thing that I kind of find out kind of around the same people who made Algorithm DJ made spotify that's why spot algorithm dj is the only program that you can access spotify from <laughs> so that's why that's gone but it has been replaced by deezer and if you have deezer i, I don't have an account i dropped it recently because i'm like i said i'm trying all these different things but if i did that um all i would do is click there and then do a search and it would then populate any song from deezer and i could just literally drag it it would it would look just like this Drag it up there, and it would populate and playable from stream. And people go, oh, but what if what if you have a bad internet connection? Um, it's going to load it. So if it loads it all the way, then you can play it at any time. You can mix it. You can put cue points in it. You can do whatever you want. So even if it's spotty and you grab it and it boop, loads it, you're playable. You can lose it that second afterwards and be just fine. So my, my big, I actually got to use it once, I think, when I was playing with virtual. And it, if I'm not mistaken, you could only use it like in the left deck or right deck. You couldn't put one song in the left deck and one in the right deck at the same time. With Spotify, correct. But with Deezer, Spotify, first off, Spotify, when you drag and drop, loads at 1.5 times the speed of the song. Okay. So it will just crawl and crawl and crawl and crawl and crawl, loading at 1.5. Deezer literally loads this fast. Let me pick a different one there so you can see it. It literally loads the same speed, okay? Okay. And Deezer, you then can do both decks. That's why I like Deezer. Deezer to listen to, to, to one or the other, I prefer Spotify because I like the fact that there's a buttload of playlists, and I'm a person who likes to, to go in and type, you know, my mood for the day and find different people's playlists and listen to what – they, you know, like let them play DJ for me, you know, um, Spotify has more 10 million more songs, but less subscribers. So there are less playlists. Sure. So Spotify, I like to listen to personally, but if there, if I had the choice, the two to throw on here to DJ, it would be Deezer because Deezer is 10 times as fast mm. and it's 10 bucks a month. And you can also go into the, um, virtuals online stuff and you can subscribe to theirs and the idj pool pro um is their audio thing and you, you if i did a search there right now um <laughs> um it's probably because i'm not i'm not signed in it's not going to give me anything no sure. subscription so if it loaded something um you would just same way drag and drop sure 
That's so odd that it's not finding. There's got to be some setting in there that's wrong. It's not right on that. Uh, let's see. A content unlimited. That was part of Virtual DJ. and uh, it's, now, it's now called IDJ Pool. Their video one is the VDJ Pro because IDJ Pool was the one that offered. That was the one they were actually getting the stuff from. The content unlimited was their name, Virtual's name. Um, and and that was given to them by IDJ Pro, but now they put the IDJ Pro and VJ Pro names in there. And the digital tracks is the name where they get the pro karaoke. All of those um, – are ones that you can search. Um, the songs do not download there. You only stream them. Cause I, so I tell people, because I know people that, that go with, with the streaming services. And I, I remember when, when Spotify was taken out of virtual, everybody's like, what am I supposed to do? All my playlists are on online. Right. I'm like, well, why would you do that? <laughs> because you don't own the song. You're, you're just renting the use of it for that minute. That literally is all you're doing. Yeah. So I tell people, um, and again, it will go to the offline cache, uh, uh, but what it does is that if, let's say, your subscription runs out, then you can't have that. So uh -huh. I tell people, it's there as an emergency. I would never in a million years rely on that. I'm, I want my songs in there so I can play my versions whenever I want. Because if you do the, do the Spotify or the Deezer and you like a certain version, um, all of a sudden it's not there. Somebody removed it. Then you don't have that song to play. So use that as, a, as an emergency backup. It's an incredible because trust me. When I subscribe to Deezer, and, I, and maybe I'll do a night on stuff like that, um, somebody asked me for a song that I absolutely did not have. Maybe some obscure thing. I'm at some private party or whatever. Um, I'm able to grab that song that quick. Sure. Literally, I don't leave the virtual program. I go over here. I would highlight the, the Deezer file. Type in. It would populate. Drag and drop. Go. That quick. You, you, it's that crazy quick. So great for emergencies, terrible as a DJ to, um, to uh, uh, create as your, your, your library. And yes, I know I pronounce the cache that way. I know. <laughs> uh, I do it. It's like John's karaoke. Karaoke. There you go. I'm getting better. So that's, I hope the right click, this maybe wasn't the best show ever, but I just wanted to show how much stuff is there. Yeah. That, that this program is not just, I play a song, then I play another song. Um, you can do, you, you can be a, a, a music editor, a video editor. It can be, you know, I know I've heard other people that go to, um, uh, uh, different programs to write their tags, uh, different programs to, to scan a song. You, you don't have, you, this does it all. You don't need anything else. There would be no, in my opinion, there's no reason for you to have any other program DJing except for virtual. It does it all. Um, I don't know if pool will ever come to virtual DJ just because that is such a big, that would take money. That mm -hmm. would take somebody buying a big big chunk or something or investing in it that that i think that's that's big money um in my opinion i'd rather have the other ones i'm not a big pool fan i'd i'd rather just drag and drop from somewhere else the, the only bad thing about the deezer and the spotify that i found is that as we as djs we look for like clean versions dirty versions edits you none of the stuff in spotify or deezer tells you if it's clean or not mm -hmm. that's that's another bad thing so you have to listen and you might load 10 of them and drag and drop, drag and drop, drag and drop until you get a clean version. Um, so that's the only bad thing about that. Again, that's why you should curate your own library. Anybody else? I think that's about it. We have to, I yeah, it would, I really thought it would take me forever. Um, I hope that that helped you out. If you have yeah, any questions, feel free there. to hit me up. Um, we are going to be diving in the future into all of those things, showing you step-by-step step how to do them, show you step-by-step step how to edit a video, how to edit a song, um, what it looks like within there, how to use them, how to change them, um, all the little different things, the, the tag editing. I want to show you about the tag editing and how that you can then go back and search everything that was tagged and find if they're tagged wrong and then to re-tag them, both in bulk and singles. And it helps your, your whole search. Um, this this is your tool for when you with your music. So keep your tools sharp. I tell everybody. Mm -hmm. Good words of advice. Yeah. 
Gang, we got to wrap things up. Uh, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Uh, Dave uh, Turnier is going to be uh, leading our wedding, kind of a wedding chat question and answer for the next show. Um, Jeremy is actually off with some family time tonight. He's going to try to log in with dial-up, which could be worth the price of admission right there. <laughs> Sorry <laughs> if that works, but we'll be back uh, in about 10 minutes. Uh, you can catch that link out at DJN TV or go out to my Facebook page, and the link is right there. We'll be back. Thanks. Tonight's DJ and TV show is sponsored in part by Electro Voice, DJ Event Planner, ADJ, NLFX Professional, Promo Only, Newmark, and DJ and TV Insider.